Right, hello, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be making a simple CV2 um, toggle button equip a player role and remove the role when the button is turned off. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, first of all, go ahead and open your watch, select backpack, and select use on your makeup pin. Go ahead and equip your makeup pin. Um, press palette. Press search. And first of all, you're going to search up for a button. Now, if it's V1, we're looking for the V1 legacy. If it's V2, we're just looking for the normal one called button. So get yourself a button, right? Uh, we'll just do it. Over, we'll just do it right here. Why not? Right, so go ahead and get yourself a button, V2, you can then go back to tools, then go back, uh, click on configure, configure the main part of the button, scroll down until you say push me, and enter, or type in, add slash remove player role. Now you can recolor that button to whatever you want, if you really want to. So we'll go with a nice blue, because why not? There we go. So, once you've got your button, you're going to then search up. Well, sorry, actually, you're not going to search up anything yet, because we actually need to turn on a uh, bit of content in the room. So just go ahead and open your makeup in. Down here, you'll see in this bottom corner, there's this room. So much quicker. Press settings. And scroll down until you see... Allow creative tools beta content. Turn that on, and it'll just say enabling the creative tools beta unlocks currently in development tools that are exclusive to this room. Using beta content in rooms comes with the following risks. We may take district uh, uh, dr uh, drastic changes to beta content, up to including your uh, breaking your creations that use beta content. Any room that uses beta content forfeits the ability to be entered into official rep room creative contests so that's just telling you what that is so just press save <clears throat> if it loads come on there we go shouldn't that long right so Right, okay, so once you've turned that on, just go ahead and get your makeup in out again. So, there's another, if you're on VR, you can just pull from your back. Or, well, to do that, first of all, you need to go onto your watch, backpack, and press favourite to pull it from your back. But if you're on screen, just open your watch and press use. Right, so now that we've done that, right, just go ahead and go back into your palette. Go to the search, and search up player, add role. You wanna, so the first one that comes up is the player add role chip. I'm gonna go ahead and turn, uh, not turn on, uh, spawn in. You'll then see that it's right next to it. So once you've done that, go ahead and get yourself the player remove role. And spawn that in, right beside it. Or underneath it actually, go for, go for underneath it, go for underneath it, right. Right, so then once you've done that, go ahead and get yourself the roll chip V1. So search up roll chip. And spawn that in just right underneath. Like so. Like that. Right. Now, there are some configurations to do. But with CV2, we can just press connect. And you'll actually see that when we press a trigger, we get the configuration menu itself. So... The only thing we actually need to properly configure is the V1 chip, so just press on your configure tool. You'll then see when you configure it, you have the role name and you can edit the role. So we're going to quickly edit that role. And we're actually going to say... Um, oh, that isn't it. Right, sorry, so... Um, you're going to look for local motion. 
you'll then see you have walk speed so you can actually change the speed so we're going to change the speed right uh, if you want to change the name you can i'm just going to leave it as it is so once you've got that right you just go back into your tail section press connect we're going to wire them things up first so just wire from pressed oh yeah so from the top player to your uh, ad player role target and you're pressed to the execution pin on the player ad role then from released oh wait hold on my bad guys wrong button <laughs> Silly me. Right, so don't uh, just unwire that. I forgot I said toggle button at the start, not just normal button. Right, so go ahead and actually get yourself a toggle button beta. Just delete that button and get a toggle button beta. Uh, right, toggle button. Sorry, guys, my apologies. Very much indeed, my apologies. Right, so sorry about that. Right, so go back onto connect once you've got your toggle button. So from press to your execution pin, play a drill, and from your player to your target on the player drill. Then from release, you're just going to do the exact same, and target again, you're going to do the exact same. Then for your value, you'll see uh, on the player drill and the uh, player to move tro uh, roll chip, they both have the value pin. Again, press the wire, uh, press the trigger, you'll come, it will come up with the configuration menu. Put in uh, the name of the roll, the CV1 roll. So, new roll, done, and value, new roll. Now, it doesn't have to be a walk that you can do on it. You can actually change it so you can fly. Um, But, yeah, so, you'll see that I'm actually walking at a normal pace right now, right? See, as soon as I press that, this is, this is just me walking, right? This is just me walking. This is me running, right? So, I run like this. I'm running a bit like a bad man. So, hey. Right. So, if I just go back over to the button and turn it off, I'm just walking at the normal pace, like running and walking at the normal pace. So, there you go, guys. There you have it. The toggle button tutorial. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope to see you guys next time and the next tutorial. See you guys later. Bye.